Welcome to Tech News Briefing. It's Friday, July 14th. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. School districts across the country are experimenting with a new type of security guard. Robot ones. These artificial intelligence-powered machines can patrol campuses 24 hours, 7 days a week. But can they really keep students and faculty safe? Megan Tagami reported on this for The Wall Street Journal and joins me now. Megan, these robots are being tested across the country. Why are schools getting them? So their purpose, you know, might vary from school to school or from company to company. But basically, a lot of times they're used for campus surveillance, especially on larger campuses that might have a lot of outdoor space. So these are being tested by multiple school districts. Can you tell us about one of the pilot programs? One pilot program is going on at Santa Fe High School right now during their summer school program. The school introduced a robot that has seven cameras, and what it can do is basically patrol the school grounds 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It has artificial intelligence, so the robot is able to basically learn what's usual versus unusual activities on campus. It can detect when someone comes onto campus, when it's not regular school hours, and it's able to alert the security staff. And then from there, the security team can figure out if they want to escalate the situation or if there's nothing to be worried about on campus. To detect whether someone is supposed to be on campus or not supposed to be on campus, does it use facial recognition? The robot doesn't have facial recognition, at least the one at Santa Fe High doesn't. And what about the data that it's collecting? I mean, who owns and controls that information? At Santa Fe High School, the high school controls the video information, so the school is the one that's responsible for determining if the footage should be saved. One thing that lots of school districts are concerned about are shooters, active shooters coming into the school. What role could these robots play in that kind of situation? It definitely depends on the robot, but the main idea is that if there's an armed intruder on campus, the robot will be the first line of defense. So the robot would be able to go up to the intruder, it would probably flag the security team, and then the security team would be able to assess the situation, but they wouldn't be immediately in the field, possibly put in danger by the shooter. In some cases, some robots are more advanced and they're able to confront intruders by using flashing lights or using um, putting a laser beam on the intruder's chest to startle them and possibly get them to drop the weapon. How are students and teachers and parents reacting to the presence of a robot on their school in Santa Fe? It's definitely mixed. Some parents were a little startled when they saw the robot, especially because it was piloted at the school's graduation back in May. Some students are curious about it, but they're not necessarily sure how effective the robot will be. And some teachers, you know, they don't feel that much safer with the robot on campus, but some teachers are optimistic that maybe the robot will be able to provide a little bit more surveillance that the security aides and the security cameras can't catch right now. What are the companies that make these kinds of robots saying about their ability to keep schools safe? The companies are pretty optimistic, but a lot of the companies I talk to really emphasize that these robots are meant to work in tandem with the existing security teams. These robots aren't supposed to replace humans altogether. And what do they cost? The cost really depends on the district. So at Santa Fe High School, right now the company is allowing the high school to pilot the robot for free during summer school. The school said that they're still negotiating the cost if they do decide to keep the robot on for the school year, but it could cost between sixty to $70,000. Are other school districts considering bringing in this kind of pilot or just bringing in the robots entirely? Other school districts have also talked about bringing in robots, maybe not the exact model that Santa Fe High School has, but I talked to one district in Oklahoma that is considering bringing in robots for the school year that would also have similar surveillance functions. But again, from what I've heard from schools, it really depends on their budgets and their ability to bring in these robots and pay for them, as well as just the abilities of the robots and if they're really able to keep campuses safe. All right, that was our reporter, Megan Tagami. And that's it for Tech News Briefing this week. TNB's producer is Julie Chang. Our supervising producer is Melanie Roy. And our executive producer is Chris Sinsley. I'm your host, Zoe Thomas. Thanks for listening, and have a great weekend.